Hey, what's up, guys? It's Xbox's number one fan, Xbox Addict. I'm gonna demo a battle beaver for you and basically explain to you what they are and how they work. So, everyone's familiar with stock controller. I have a stock controller here, and if you're not familiar with trigger stops, what trigger stops are is you pop them in right here, or you glue them on. They have glue on ones, and when you pull the trigger, it stops the trigger from pulling and it only pulls about 20 to 40 percent. The problem with that is it doesn't work in every game so it's like Destiny you'll, you can fail to fire in some games. So if you don't if you haven't heard Battle Beaver has smart triggers. What smart triggers are is it converts your basically what they do is can they convert your trigger into a mouse click so there's virtually no pull and it's pulling at a hundred percent every time you pull. I don't know, hopefully you can see how little it pulls. It's not very much, so. So, you're getting a faster response. It actually even uh, upgrades the durability of your triggers. You're getting a faster response, better durability, and 100% pull, so it works with every game. Also, another, uh, another thing Battle Beaver offers a stick tension. So if you haven't noticed, any of you guys who played the 360, the Xbox One joysticks are a lot looser than the 360 joysticks. They loosen the tension. I'm not really sure why, honestly. The Xbox 360 sticks felt good to me. So Battle Beavers, what you can do is increase your stick tension. So they offer three stick tensions. Stock, which you've familiar with and then the increased tension is basically exactly Xbox 360 stock controller tension which is what I prefer and what I do is I stick it on here I put tension on here no tension on here because that's my run button and that increases your aim and it helps with uh, over correcting he also offers a third option extreme tension that's a little too much for me my thumbs got tired. I tried it once and yeah, not it's just too much for me, but some people do prefer it, obviously. Um it's a huge advantage for overcorrecting control freaks plus stick tension. If you do control freaks, then extreme tension works a little bit better because the control freaks kinda it makes it feel it tones down the stick tension because you're coming at it at a higher angle. But both of them together, perfect, man. They're, uh, that's what I use, control freaks and stick tension. I think they're perfect uh, together. So another thing they offer, most comp, comp controllers offer, is rear, rear buttons. Scuff does paddles, if you're familiar with scuff. Battle Beaver does rear buttons. You can have them positioned, this is normal position. My thumb lands right on it when I hold the controller. So, if you can see, my thumb lands right on it there. You can also have it put down here or down here, or custom order, have it put anywhere you want. With rear buttons, what they do for you is you can have them static mapped to whatever buttons you want. I do A over here, B over here. It's great for advanced warfare. That way your fingers are never coming off, sorry, your thumbs are never coming off the sticks. You're always, you can jump and melee without having your fingers come off the sticks. Uh, you can do two buttons, four buttons, six buttons on the back. Some people do six. I only do the two. Uh, any more than that, my brain, I would have a brain aneurysm. That's just too much for me. But it, wor it works great. Uh, you can also do, so they have the static I mentioned where, so that's, you pick your buttons, that's what it is. They'll stay there. You can also do the uh, smart chip, the remap chip, and it's uh, so what it basically what it does for you is lets you remap your rear buttons to clone any of your regular face buttons. And it's super easy. All you do is hold the back button, hold the back the your rear buttons, and the menu button or view button. You'll see my LED clicked on there. The LED is telling me that it's ready to be remapped. And then you hold on to the rear button, hold on to the button you wanted to map it to, 
let go of the rear button, and then let go of the button that you want to map it to. You do the same thing for the other button, and then when you're done, you just press the menu or view button again, and that's it. You're done. Now it works. There you go. So, I suggest the remap chip if you play other games other than COD, but if you're just getting a COD controller, go ahead and go with the static. That way you can, you know, why cost yourself the extra money? But I love the smart chip because I play, I do play Destiny and other games like that all the time. Uh, the last thing that they do for you, ob other than the custom shells, obviously you can have custom shells, custom sticks, custom. It's all. They just updated their uh, website so with more options, more color options. Last thing they do for you though, my, I, what sells it, what seals the deal is hopefully you can see it, probably not though, it doesn't pick up well on camera. Custom home buttons, you can do whatever you want, you upload an image, they'll print out a button for you, you pick your LED color, I have a color changing LED on mine, I don't think that's available on the website yet, but you upload the image your logo, your team, whatever you want, and they'll put it and make it in your home button. And that's basically what sold me at first, and then I came across the smart triggers and everything, and I just, I fell in love with Battle Leaders. They're, it's superior to any, to any other controller, in my opinion. Obviously, it's just an opinion. But, uh, they don't break. He, they stand behind their product. If you, if anything happens, you send it in, they'll fix it. If your scuff is broken, also send it in, they'll fix it. If you have another controller, a scuff, or another cinch, whatever, and you want to trade it in for a battle, toward a battle beaver, you can do that. If you want to convert it to a battle beaver, you can do that. The options are almost endless with these guys, and they'll work with you to do almost anything. If you have, if you're missing fingers and you have disabilities, whatever, they'll find a way to make a controller work for you. So. That's why I rock Battle Weaver. That's why I stand behind them, and that's why I rep them. And thank you so much to them for uh, for sponsoring me. I just I just wanted you guys to know that I don't just rep whoever will sponsor me. Basically, I started using this controller and loved them so much, and we just started talking, and that's how all this happened. So, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out BattleBeaverCustoms.com. I recommend getting the squid grips on them. I like squid grips. I thought they were a gimmick at first, but I, now I can't play without them. For long sessions, they're awesome. Keep your hands dry the whole time. I used to have a habit of rubbing my hands in my pants. Now I don't do that at all. Or Yeah, now I don't do it at all. But at first, I was still doing it, and my hands would be dry. It was a weird feeling. But I should just throw the squid grips on there. Uh, Battle Beaver Customs. Dot com at Battle C. Check me out on Twitter. I'll have all the links at the bottom for you guys. Thanks so much for watching.